I have worked in some aspect of the adult entertainment industry since the day that I set foot in 1982. I have made movies in almost every era of the adult entertainment industry. Originally, I started um, by doing magazines. I was not expecting to make my first movie. I showed up on a set as a go-see model. It's not sex, it, it's just nudity based. And that's what I thought I was going there to do. I had, I had a lot of reservations, um, but somehow that day uh, some things happened and I wound up on a porn set the next day. On that film, I experienced some things with my sexuality that I never had even known were things that could be possible in sex. I didn't lose my virginity until I was 17 years old. I didn't experience pornography on any level, whether it was nude magazine shooting or shooting movies, until I was an adult who was able to grant my consent. I was assured on the set that they weren't gonna do anything to me that, you know, without my permission. So that made me feel much better. My career took off very quickly. Um, there were some learning curves early in my career. When I was young, I never really felt like I was in a position where if something happened to me, I wouldn't have somebody that I could turn to that would be able to see me through that dark period. And I've noticed, because I am an officer on the Adult Performers Actors Guild, which is the federally recognized union, that the actors of today, we lose a lot of them because there's a lot of suicides for many different reasons. The way that the industry is running today, it seems to operate in a completely different system than it did through the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s. The internet has brought piracy. Piracy is a huge problem. The other thing is the bullying and the trolling that goes on. Back in the day before the internet, if you had a fan who didn't like you, they couldn't access you in real time and start tearing you down or belittling you or making fun of you. For me, it seems like these girls or males, they need somebody to turn to, to talk to. And let's face it, there is no user manual. You can read about porn in every book out there. You can watch 100,000 movies, but until you walk on a movie set and you experience what it's like to actually have sex in front of a camera, it's a completely different thing than being an actor. One of the reasons why I am an officer um, with the Adult Performers Actors Guild is because I want to be there to stand up for performers if they do feel like somebody is pressing a boundary. They can come to us and we will stand behind them and support them in doing that.